All right, I just shot a video here on my bead roller and got a bit of energy left in me, so hey, what that? We'll do a little video on these uh, shrinker stretcher as well. So I got these uh, shrinker and stretchers from uh, Eastwood. I think they're a copy of uh, Whitney Roper or something, or more aircraft originally. You can put the uh, original die in these if you wanted to. I think you might be able to get aftermarket dies from other people as well. There's always people rethinking tools, trying to make them better. So when I got this from Eastwood, it was just the two uh, shrinker stretchers with these little handle gadgets on here. And uh, basically you would have to put a, a piece of metal on here and clamp it into a vise whenever you wanted to use it. Otherwise it's pretty much useless. I tried uh, to make a little piece of uh, a fender for my van. And uh, I don't know, you just can't hold on to this in any way. Then put the pressure on here to uh, stretch, or stretch or shrink any metal. So you'll have to have some kind of a, a fixture to hold these. So uh, I was walking through Princess Auto one day, which is like the Canadian version of Harbor Freight. And they had this stand. So I was like, yay, I'll pick this up. And uh, honestly, I haven't used it at all. But it seems kind of like an unnatural height to uh, get your foot up initially. But then it's quite nice. So uh, depending on your uh, flexibility and your height and whatnot, you might chop the bottom of this thing off. Or even make it longer, depending on whatever works for you. In the fabrication business, it's not a big deal. But it's faster and cheaper to buy 99% of it from uh, a dealer. Then modify it because you can get this for less than the cost of the metal at a metal shop so uh, anyway I think that uh, they're a good combination they have a deep throat ones as well and they cost quite a bit more I'm not sure if I'm going to get one of them or not I didn't see a need for it at the time when I bought these they've been sitting around for a couple of years waiting for me to get organized now that I've got a, a shop set up I'm going to be making parts for uh, a Hupmobile, which has been waiting for me for quite a while as well. So I need to make uh, back of the car. It's all kind of rusted out. Wheel wells, boo, lots of holes in them. And uh, the bottom of the doors. This is actually the same body as a 34 Ford sedan. So some of these parts I can buy but I'd like to try to make them myself. And then I've got a, a 5 liter V8 that I got out of a van. So I'm going to try to make that work this uh, summer as well. Got to make some engine mounts for it. Anyway, so I got some cowl corners to do on the other side. And uh, fix the floor a little bit. So I'll probably do some videos over the summer of how I use the tools that I've just shown you. and. Uh, this is uh, the necessity for what those tools were purchased for. So anyway, thank you very much.